of grip. It'll 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 swap from what is normal. So in most cases, we run the line that we're talking about. So you start on the outside, go to the apex, go to the track out of the corner. What happens on every, almost every racetrack in the world, this one included, is that the more people that run on it, the more polished and smooth the rubber get, or the track gets, the more rubber gets laid down, and the more oil and other options that, or other things that get dripped on it, making that very grippy and very good when it's dry. Also, making it the exact opposite when it's wet. So as you as rain starts coming down, as moisture starts coming down, that, that nice smooth polished concrete that's really dripping in the dry is now very, very slick and it's wet. So what you wind up doing is running with what we call the rain, which is basically, for all intents and purposes, opposite of everything we just talked about this morning. And my esteemed colleague here yes. has, a, has an example of a racing corner that hopefully you guys can see. Your typical 90 degree corner, we'll call it turn one, you can see our normal racing leg. Start at the outside, turn in, go to the apex, and drive out. Now that, again, that creates all this rubber, all this grip, all this polishing, all this rubber. In the, in the rain line, this is our line. Start in the middle of the racetrack, go to the outside edge, on the outside of the concrete, turn one sharp corner, and then go straight. A lot of different reasons that this works aside from just rubber. When it's wet, you lose grip. You don't have rain, even with rain tires, slicks especially, as you guys found, you don't have as much grip as you do in the dry. So that means you can't load the go-kart, you can't load a tire as much. So if you turn turn the wheel this much in the dry, the car's gonna go that way at 10, 20 miles an hour, whatever that number is. In the wet, if you try to do the exact same thing, even with rain tires, there's not enough grip. You're gonna want the cart's not going to go the same. So you try to get as much turning done as a slow speed as possible so you can get the hand straight and go back out of the corner. So that's the long and the short of, of driving the, of a rain line. Now each racetrack, like we talked about this morning, is going to have its own kind of characteristics. You'll have corners like the boot, where you're going to have to drive on what the dry line is. And that that's where driving in the rain becomes a lot of fun because you get to slide the cart around and just move, the, move everything around. And that's one of the, I think one of the funnest things about racing in the rain or driving in the rain or anything in the rain is that there's no proper rule. It's you go to wherever there's grip. So, so all of this, all this basic line stuff is great. That's how you start the process of driving in the rain. And then it's free for You get to do what you want because some some corners will have more rain, so the track track is constantly varying. You have a lot of different stuff. Um, track will get drier, track will get wetter. Puddles will form, so you have to watch out for puddles. So driving in the rain is one of the most heads up exercises you can do. So you're gonna be constantly, you're constantly on a swivel, but you're constantly learning new things every lap. And the only way to get really good at it is to take advantage of today and keep driving in as much as you can. Um, we can sit here and tell you where the rain line is all day, but until you get out there and you drive and you go, to, if you go on the racing line, you're like, oh wow, that's slippery. And, and then you realize, you go to the outside of the track, that's where all the grip is. Yeah. So until you really feel it, yeah. um, it's kind of hard and to And that's what some of you guys are feeling today. So let's, let's kind of open up any quest, like, so based on what you experienced this morning, any questions on anything that happened this morning and or anything that we might try and do in the afternoon in full, full wet like we're gonna have. Not you. You? Is there like a way to like make sure you don't like stay coming off of the back of the whole scoop like to get off the track? So, yes. So, in the rain, like you're gonna want what, uh, let's, let's draw the boot. And I have, I have video of driving in the rain here. Uh, Two years ago, I believe, I have video of a bed's in a tank. It's a little bit faster, but you, you, you'll get the idea of the line of where to go. So if you guys want to watch that later, or after you guys go out once and try it out yourself, and then come back and look at it, um, it'll be in the truck. I'll have it pulled up, so if you want to watch that, you can. What Steve was talking about, where you drive into the corner, you make one sharp corner and then drive straight, that's going to help it so you're not spinning out, because you're going to have the car straight when you're getting out of the bottle, rather than having wheel in the car getting out of the car. So, I think a lot of you guys experience what happens when you get on the throttle, the wheel of the car this morning when it slip. Yeah. Spin out. So to, to help 
to help your specific question in the boot, in the rain. You're going to wind up driving a little bit wider all the way through the corner. So that way, like TJ was saying, you don't have as much wheel in the go-kart to begin with because you're taking a wider line, so you have to turn as much to get around that corner. And also, once you get to this point, you're going to try and straight to the middle so that you get all the steering out of it. So you're going to have most of your steering done here, and then straight, and that way, that way when you're getting on the throttle, you're not having all this lock, and you all of a sudden it comes back around. Yeah. So the, that's the biggest thing, is to try and adjust what you're doing to get the wheel as straight as you can. It's not so much just the boot, it's just that you have that much steering in the front. A good, a good rule of thumb around pretty much the whole tracks, so like turn one, sweeper, boot, uh, there's, you know there's that cement patch, that lighter color? Be your outside, ti your outside tires on the outside of that. So don't be in that part, because like, like Steve was saying, it's polished, it's a little bit more run on, used a little bit more. So as long as you're outside of that patch, you'll be fine in the rain. V? Will the brakes have the same effect if you hit them slow down automatically, or will the part slide until it stops? That's a good question. So you won't have, the brakes will still work the same. Like the water, the brake, the brake disc will get hot enough that you won't, it won't, when you hit the brake, it's going to work. But will, it, will the tires just no. slide? No, so the, tire, the tires will have less grip than they do in the dry, so you can't hit the brake as hard. So if you do go to the same amount of brake pressure that you do in the wet, or excuse me, if you go to the same amount of brake pressure in the wet as you do in the dry, you're going to have a tendency to lock up the brakes. Ben, ben right? Oh, yeah. Should we be breaking in a different spot? Well, I'll, 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 I'll get to that, but you experienced that a lot today and how and how much uh, less less braking capability the go-kart has. Because you had a lot of uh, instances where the cart locked up, and just because the amount of brake pressure that you put on was higher than the amount of grip level that the track had. So to answer your question, yes, you do then back up the brake point a little bit further, a little bit earlier, so that the cart will slow down because you can't brake as hard as you would otherwise. I don't think many of you drive I know the parents know, like in the winter, if you lock up the brakes, you got no, you got no grip. So if you if you lock up the brakes in the in the cart in the rain, you have no grip. The car's just gonna go straight. So always keep try never lock up the rear the rear wheels. Always keep them rotating. And if you feel like you locked them up, just try to let off. Obviously, you want to be slowing down still, but I I would just try to keep them spinning as as free as you can. And uh, if you lock them, you're probably gonna spin out. Um, that's okay. That's, yeah, yeah, that's okay. That's, that's why we're here. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yes, Pete. Will you still just do donuts with the rain tires in the grass? Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. Because basically the rain, the grass now is twice as wet as it was before, so you're, it's twice as slick as it was before. Yeah, even though you have rain tires, it'll be it'll be better on the pavement, but not. No, nothing's gonna help you in the grass. A <laughs> um, couple a couple things. A lot of you learn that you're when you're sitting still, your visor fogs. So, in the rain, until you start rolling, try and keep it at least somewhat cracked or half cracked open just to keep air flowing through. And then when you're going, you can, you can, it, you can close it because then you have air going through the helmet. That'll keep the, uh, keep the fog from showing up. If you still have it, try and crack it a little bit, but you still obviously want to keep the visor closed all the time. Um, some things that I learned about helmets and stuff, is especially if you're driving when it's cold and rainy, keep the helmet cold. Otherwise, if you take it out from heated area and you go into, it's going to fog up and you will never get it back. <laughs> um, but try and keep your helmet at, at air temperature as much as you can. It's kind of the same in, in heat, too, like if you keep it in air condition. Yeah, yeah another thing, too, is um, if you don't want your helmet to fog as much, don't go outside in the rain and get your head all wet and then put your helmet on because it'll just steam up on the inside and it'll fog up. So if you keep your head dry and keep the helmet dry, it won't fog up. Yeah. Um, Cart setup, I think Jamie and them are going to go over that a little bit more. Um, big thing about the rain, and people get nervous about it, but I mean, you're kids, so you guys don't get nervous about anything, but have fun with it. Like, it's it's seriously, like, one of my favorite things to do in racing is drive a go-kart in the rain, and I've driven quite a few different race cars in my life. So, um, it's an absolute blast, uh, and that's the, like, if you have fun with it, if you keep learning, if you, if you and, and you get to experiment, just keep trying it. If you yeah. Go through a corner and there, there's no grip. Try driving somewhere else in that same corner. Like it's there's there's no wrong answer in the rain unless you're off the racetrack. That is definitely a wrong answer. 
And like we were talking about before, the dry, same thing. Build up to it. Yep. Don't feel like you need to go out there and try to set the world on fire in the rain right yeah. away. Lock up and spin out. Just build up to it. Make sure you're finding where the line is, feeling where the grip is, and then once you figure out where the grip is, you can start going harder. 